Welcome back to Arsenal News TV, guys. And today we'll be talking about Fusim Awa. Many people are saying Aro, Air, or his name is Awa. Fusim Awa. So, yeah, guys, this guy has been linked with the move to Arsenal. And I really am delighted to hear people like him being linked with the move to Arsenal. And yes, guys, the grind is back on. I'm kind of out of words about how good this guy is but with some reports I can say that Arsenal are facing competition with Serie A Giants Juventus, the Liga side Madrid and Premier League side Manchester City for his signature this summer. So the competition looks quite hard. I mean you got the big jet boys of Juventus, Madrid and City all fighting to get the same player as Arsenal. It's more likely that he'll go to them but if Arsenal can get our it will be such a major cue compared to the other teams because the way they got Gabriel was beautiful as well when they fought against Napoli United and it was unthinkable. You saw what he can do in that first game. He hasn't played for six months against Fulham. One goal. Apart from that two minutes, that was a miscommunication. We can't do anything about that. But he was impeccable. He was getting all the aerials. He was dealing with it perfectly. He was even man of the match of the game. Gabriel was amazing. Now if we try and get Awa as well, that midfield will be sorted in my opinion. Because you see the likes of Everton, which the owners wanted a sharehold of Arsenal. They spent so much money and they bought in the Kore, Allen, Hammers. And that midfield is just miles ahead of our midfield of Shaka, Ceballos. With only two practically. So if you get the likes of Husimawa, it will mean a lot because Arteta wants to, well, not Arteta, but we all want Arsenal to be a top four team. And Arteta finds signing Awa as their top priority as well, which is all good news. He wants to use um, the Leon Playmaker as part of a three man midfield. It makes sense. If you see the likes of Gabriel and William Saliba as the double centre-back pairing in the back four with Tierney on the left and even Maitland Lowndes on the right, even though Hector Bellerin had a decent performance, we can see the likes of, with hopefully, Thomas Partey in the anchor, the defensive midfield option, and with the likes of Hussein Awa and Zabayas, or Hussein Awa and Shaka, or with one of the two making a dynamic trio. Or you can see you play two in the middle with someone like Mesut getting his opportunity up front. But the way with Arsenal's playing, the way Arteta wants to play, everyone has to fight for the team. And the likes of Mesut, the likes of Gwenduzi, even though he does try for hard for the team, just don't have their chances. At a certain time, Maitland now is going to get his chance as well, but now he's going to work for the team, so he gets an opportunity. Even people like Elneny are getting options. So the thing is, we need to upgrade big time. And we have to get this guy. In my opinion, we have to get this guy. They already tried offloading uh, Matteo Granduzzi with some cash to Leon. But that Leon owner, Giugino, or whatever his name is, that guy just doesn't want anything less than £55 million. Pound or €60 million. Euros. So they want to transfer fee within the 55.5 million pound region and he's highly rated in France under 21 as well he scored nine times in 41 games and he made them reach the first ever Champions League final semi-final isn't it so the French attacker looks like a decent option in my opinion because the way he's um, brought up this team it makes me want to feel like he can bring this team to another level. And I feel like he's got the attributes that we must need. We need someone that has goals. We need someone that can hold the ball. And he fits the bill perfectly. His strengths are his passing, his dribbling, holding onto the ball. He likes to do layoffs. He likes to dribble. He gets fouled often. We got someone like a set piece taker like Willian on purpose. With Willian taking the free kick and set piece duty. He can get a lot of fouls. He likes to play the short passes. He's a set-piece threat as well. So, he's decent. 
but he does also have a bit of weaknesses such as his defensive contribution tackling and a bit of crossing but you don't normally cross the ball into the middle we just play normally with the ball so with the weaknesses like this if we just get Thomas Partey he fits the bill the two dynamic duo will be perfect if we get these two the transfer window has been a success in my opinion because with the likes of Gabriel Saliba the defense is sorted with the likes of Tierney and Maitland Niles or Bellerin that the left back and right back is sorted even Saka can play in the left back position even though Arteta wants to play in the left wing in the midfield, if you have the likes of Partey, Awa, and even Danny Ceballos or Xhaka, one of them can in interchange between the game, and that's sorted. The up front three, we got uh, Aubameyang, which is a no-brainer, Lacazette, even Eddie and Ketia, both of them are fighting for the position, and we got Pepe and William fighting for their position as well. So, it makes sense that we can be a top four contender, and as I stated before, I think we can go higher up in the league as well. We can maybe a third place finish or maybe a second place finish, depending on how the other teams perform. Because I feel like the likes of City, Liverpool already won this. They're going to focus more on the Champions League, especially City. Liverpool look more lackluster. They won the game and it's highly unlikely, even though City's done it before, for a team to just win again the title two seasons in a row. With the likes of United and City are the only ones doing it. And... The likes of Chelsea, the way I saw them against Brighton, they were defensively poor. They got lucky, practically. They got lucky. Kepa's poor. poor. And people are talking like the 3-1 defeat, but it was game was over practically at 2-1. And they just had the most of the ball. They got lucky, practically, in my opinion. So, it gives Arsenal a good chance this season to try and get up in the league, try and give prove the doubters wrong. And with the likes of Husimawa, it will make a lot of sense. I feel like Hosimawa fits the bill perfectly. He's only 23. He's got a lot of years ahead of him. He can play that role that we need most. One that can hold the ball, pass it into the attacking areas, which he fits the bill perfectly. We don't have to rely on the width play, which he can control. He can provide a lot of set pieces, opportunities. By getting, he gets a lot of fouls. There's more frequent opportunities for likes of Willy and Alba, Laka, Pepe for them to attack. Then he's got um, somewhat decent defensive capability as well. He does come back a lot. He's not at Mezzo, he just doesn't try. And he can create something from out of nowhere. So he fits everything for me. He's the decent player to have. And other than that, we should get this guy. Come on, you gunners, get this guy. Because I really feel like he is the decent player we should have in this team. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the de the grind I'm doing at the moment. I'm trying to get a video every day at the moment. I hope that the support comes there because right now my channel is just going down like a car's value in right now. And I need some form of help. Guys, please share the video. Share the channel. Share me. Make me get to some extent. Because I want to just come bigger at one point as well. I want to earn. I need to pay my loans. I need to pay my debts. I have a lot of stuff to do as well. So other than that guys, hopefully you enjoy the video and make sure you subscribe.